views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guide healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that'll strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen, and we're all about the metaphysical topics and spirituality ascending, growing our happiness at a soul level. So that's what the show is about. We talk about all different kinds of things, and we we do spend a lot of time with the angels, and I love working with them. I work with them every day myself, and they've made a huge difference in my life, so I share that with you. Now, today, we're also looking at the angel insights that they can give us with the Scorpio full moon that came in yesterday here, at, that was May 10th, and it was probably the 11th for some of you. And you would still be feeling that, but you may have been feeling that ramping up a few days before. They've been strong. The energy's been strong. It's been coming in. I mean, I'm all about the energy and the energy fields and how it affects us. And the more I study that, the more I do feel empowered to find my way through and to be, a, to be better for it at a soul level. So that's what I like to share with you. I'm sharing my insights, my experiences, what I'm discovering, and it's up to you to decide whether that's good for you or not. If not, that's okay too, because really what it's all about is finding what's right for you inside you, not from somebody else. So I'm sharing that, hoping that it can help you find what, what that is inside of you. I'm very much about you feeling empowered in your own right. Everybody has that. Everybody has that. Everybody has their soul they're working on. And whether you know it or not, probably a lot of you are awakening or you're just going through this. And this moon was quite potent with the energy. It really was. And a lot of you that even even if you don't even follow it, you're like, I don't even feel that. Maybe you are and you don't realize it. And That's why I'm doing this. That's why I've brought some of this into the show more because I'm seeing that it matters. It works. It helps to have a little bit of insight as we're going through these different levels of ascension that we're all going through. And we really are. We're all going through different things. But one of the biggest themes of this year is self-love. And it is bringing it back to an internal within you. And it's releasing a lot of the old stuff, stuff stuff that needs to go. Now, what has been happening with the energies recently in the last few months is it's bringing up what needs to be dealt with, what needs to be healed, what needs to be released. And for some of you, if a lot of that's coming up and there's been a lot of things to pull up and out, this moon may have come through feeling like it was, oh, this is tough. The energy about this moon was interesting because Scorpio is actually the opposite of Taurus. And we had kind of like a polarity type of thing. And you would, and without going into that too deep, because I want to get to the angel insights on it. It's working with, even though it seems to be the opposite side of the new moon that was in Taurus two weeks ago. And so then this comes in and It reminds me of our balance. It reminds me of the shadow side of us that does have lessons for us that we do need to acknowledge and we do need to listen to. It also is a very positive moon, believe it or not. Some of you might not be feeling that, 
I understand that. I really do. Because it is going to show you the bigger picture, which means you will see, to see the bigger picture or the higher divine picture of consciousness, you actually see deeper within. I know. To go higher, you're going deeper. It, it, that's really the best way to explain it. And you're going, what? But it is like that. You're not going. So some of you might be feeling like, I'm not feeling all this positive change. You might be going through a lot of challenge. You might be going through a lot of things that are just feeling like upheaval in your life. And yes, I know what that feels like to have been through my own myself. And I probably will continue to have something pop up that I've got to work on too. But when that's happening, it's showing you very clearly what needs to change and shift. So we have to switch from it being something done to us to why am I allowing this to happen to me? That is actually giving your power away. This moon helps you discover where you're giving your power away and how to claim it back to be your own hero. So that's what we're talking about. I've got some insights from angels that I did a meditation with to help us with this because I know the challenges are out there. We do have phone lines open if you want to call in, 1-800-930-2819 if you have any questions. I also have the email bag that I will uh, go grab and, and answer some of those. And we also have the chat over in our video live stream. You can check that out at Jen Royster at my YouTube or at JenRoyster.com if you want to check that out. I have all the information. And it's all right there embedded on the show page there, too. So I want to say welcome to everyone that is in the video live stream as well. And welcome to everyone that is listening to the audio through our stations, WBLQ in Westerly, Rhode Island, and our Transformation Talk radio network. So we are pretty much uh, broadcasting in lots of places right now, and we're here to help you find the insights you need to keep you going. So when I had, um, I just looked at my clock, it's 11.11. Don't you love that? <laughs> but I do my show at 11, so you know. You know, there was something to that. And, you know, I've been doing the show at 11 for several years now, but 11-11, a lot of people are seeing that. A lot of people are seeing the threes or they're seeing the fives. Well, the five is a big transformative number, so the numbers are coming in sequences to you where you need to shift and look at. One of the biggest things that um, I do want to address is the people that might be feeling a little bit heavy or emotional with this moon energy because there's some things for healing. And when the emotions pop up, I do want you to know that when emotions pop up, that is a way to release energy. You might be crying a lot. You might be, you know, feeling like, wait, I can't get it together. I'm just all over the place. You know, it's, it's more of a let that flow. Find a way to give yourself some space to cry it out if you need to. Pound that pillow with your fist, whatever it is. Scorpio energy can feel intense and it can be quick to anger, you know, it has a little bit of a temper. But at the same time, you have that Taurus energy that's kind of under the influence here that's grounding you into this energy to not avoid it and to look at the bigger picture. Look at this thing and you will find a way through. You will find a way to become stronger. You'll see how strong you actually are and how we bring it back to a place where we are owning and we have our personal power back. We're not giving it away. So through some of that today, I have Archangel Michael that's come through with his courage and bravery and to help you with that toxic energy. Joe feel again, she was in here last week and comes again because that's the angel that brings in like positive optimism. And if you are feeling low or you're feeling high and low and up and down and you keep going back and forth, that's a great angel to call on. And also for the healing and release that we have Raphael that came in today. This is a time for healing and releasement with this moon because we're now at the, almost at the end of May where this was the big motivation to move forward. So you're feeling it bigger right now because we're at the gateway to move into a brand new place. That's right. doesn't matter what they're saying out there in third dimension. Third dimension is always going to be third dimension, guys. But there's another dimension. There's a lot of them. There's, there's a lot of dimensions. There's a lot of perspective. And there's, there's the positive side of life, too. I've actually heard some people 
say, you know, or they're getting upset because nothing's working, nothing's working. I do all this and it doesn't work. Well, but you're releasing. When you release, you've got to walk through that fire. You've got to, you've got to bring it. You've got to go through. Uh, I've gone through my own. So I'm going to give some of those examples when we come back from break. We're about to go to break, actually. So, But I want you to hang in there because I have a lot here that's going to help you see the bigger picture and how you can move through with this scorpion uh, full moon energy. You'll feel this probably for the next week or so, but in a couple of days, we really are at that gateway of transformation. You just start really feeling like, I have got to change something and I've got to do it now. It just, no more, no more of this. I can't feel that anymore. I just, I just can't go there. And you're going to be feeling that. You probably are. That's because it's time to make some choices, some changes. And if we're afraid of our changes, it holds us up and it causes most of the stress that we feel. So there's a lot of personal power here to be claimed back to yourself with this. And this moon can really help you. I mean, it really can. And I really wanted to bring this to you. It just came in yesterday. Here it came in about 542, I believe, yesterday evening. So we're pretty much in it, you know. Uh, a little over 12 hours, so you're going to feel it for a few days, and you can make the most of it. So we're going to take a short break. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening, or you might be watching our video live stream of the Jen Royster Show. We're talking about angel insights and this scorpion, or the Scorpio full moon effects and how we can make the most of this. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to the hit show, Mouthing Off with Chef Rossi. Chef Rossi mouths off about different subjects in pursuit of breaking down walls and opening up your minds. She and Dr. Pat banter back and forth, taking from the headlines of the day on subjects that reach beyond what goes on in the world into your hearts. And go to theragingskillet.com to find out more and let Chef Rossi know what's on your mind. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Treat the body and expand the soul on June 1st with Lynn Brown. In this all-inclusive retreat, you'll treat your body with breakout sessions in the various elements of nature. Enjoy fireside chats while harnessing the healing energy of fire. Allow more light with more ease and activate that connection between the body and spirit. Call 206-931-7356 or visit lynnmbrown.com. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hip call in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. 
And welcome to the show. We are back. If you are just tuning in, we're talking about angel insights to help us with this Scorpio full moon that just came in yesterday on May 10th, 11th, maybe for you and wherever you are in the world. And one of the biggest themes, and it is very positive about, you know, karmic, if you want to look at it as as a karmic debt, it's being dealt with, resolved. A lot of that is getting dissolved away because we're moving past where we need those lessons. But if you're still holding on to some of them, it might have escalated. You might feel like you're in over your head right now or it's a bit deep. Some people have been reporting that they feel like they go from feeling fantastic to down to up to all over. And that isn't something that they've, you know, experienced. They don't have anything seriously going on with them, but all of a sudden they feel like that. Emotions are going to be moved through the heart chakra, and the heart chakra has been opening. So you would be feeling it more. It makes sense that way energetically. But you may not be used to that because you've been, you know, sealing it off. I've spoken about that before, but I'm just, it's a good reminder. Now, personal power, personal power isn't just about living a physical, you know, your physical life and all of that. Your personal power is within you your stamina, your drive, your spirit, you know, what keeps you going, you know, what what really ticks you off, all that kind of stuff, your personal power. We lose or our personal, and I want to address this, so important because Michael, this comes from Archangel Michael to talk about, okay, let me put that down. Uh, personal power, it leaks or it drains off of us if we take the focus away from what we can do to heal and work on that with the self-love. And it's about what somebody else did or what somebody else is doing to us. And we we're, we're, we're learning how to live in a new way, a new perspective, changing everything about how we approach life. And in third dimension, or just look at the news. If you don't know what third dimension is, there it is. Uh, Everything is about what somebody's doing to somebody. Okay, it's like their fault and they did that to me. And we have to learn in this ascension growth from a metaphysical perspective, if if I can explain it this way, we're learning how to take that shift off what somebody else is doing, what somebody else's choices are. But we're thinking, but Jen, they're they're affecting me. It's affecting me. It's affecting me what they're doing. I get that. I know I've been there before. And where I was absolutely miserable until I realized, okay, there's a different way to approach this. And I'm talking from experience because I've been through some challenges myself. But I was completely just beat up by it, worn out, actually getting sick physically because I was upset about this. was several years ago. And once I realized Nobody's doing anything to me unless my spirit allows that. So I started working with Michael immediately. And this is coming from Michael. If this is new to you, I really highly recommend this. It's one of the most powerful things I ever did to change my life. I started asking him to help me, you know, not absorb because I was sensitive. You know, I was absorbing everything. Everything was being done to me or it was an attack or it felt like, it, it feels like victim. Okay, we feel like we're the victim of something happening to us. And physically, that might be happening. But in order to shift it energetically, so then our physical response to that, when it comes to how we change what we're experiencing, we change it within ourselves. I heard this very well put with, um, and I apologize, I don't know the name, but I read the story. It was a true story about someone that was in the Nazi camps way back in the day. And no matter what she did, she stayed positive. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, she survived it, but she just kept something positive, you know, singing, being positive with her mom, or her mom was doing that with her. I think she was relaying how her mom did that with her. I read it a long time ago. And it was very inspirational to see that because she, no matter what was happening in her physical world, she was keeping that spirit up. 
Now, everything we experience in a physical world will eventually evolve, pass on. It too shall pass is the phrase. And there will be a tomorrow, okay? So whatever's happening right now, this is what Michael really wanted me to say. I will help you. I will give you that extra support. But it's not like, please come help me and fix this for me. It changed a little bit here because we need to be proactive in what we're doing. So at first I was asking, please just help me, just protect me, keep me safe. Absolutely do that. And then you'll feel that that safety is there. But then we we learn now, and that's what I'm really seeing shift with the angel messages that I'm I'm receiving to share is, okay, I'm going to come to you because you're asking me for help, but I want to show you how you can do this for you. So the personal power is really being brought back with us being given an opportunity to walk in this and do this as a team effort more than just, please come save me. Please come save me is, I get that, but we have to be proactive as well. And some people don't like hearing this. Some people are put off by it. Okay. I want you to find what you need for you. I'm being honest about what we need now in today's world because this is a very different place just from six months ago, from one year ago, and it is still changing. And we have to find a way to have a thriving happiness life in that. That's the goal. But we have to be more proactive in that. So we have to come out of the victim mode somewhere. And I mean, even if something, yeah, you're right in the middle of it, it's happening to you physically, but the way to change that is to change inside. Well, you know what? You know, it's kind of like back when we were children, you know, their name calling or, you know, they're they're being mean to you or they're bullying you. And then you just find that place inside of you that I'm not what they think of me, you know, I, I I'm not that. That's what they're saying, but I don't have to believe it. And you go into that place. And Michael will help really support you in this. If you're willing to go there and work on changing from victim mode to empowered mode and to work on, well, I'm not going to give my power away anymore. The other thing about personal power is when you have made a choice, maybe you made a choice today, last year, five years ago, And you don't like how it turned out so much. It's forgiving yourself and releasing the energy of that weight of why did I do this? You're beating yourself up. You're being the punisher when you do that. We have to release, like if we made choices that we, you know, okay, that maybe wasn't the greatest choice. I Maybe I should do something different. Okay. But we have to release and forgive and let it go. And a lot of times we will do that, and, it, and we're really hard on ourselves. We're thinking, I really thought this was going to be fantastic. I thought this was going to work, and it's been worse. But what did you learn from it? Why do you think it happened? We have to look at things from a bigger picture now. And I hear lawnmowers outside, so if you guys hear a rumbling in the background, that's what it is. I hear all these big lawnmowers. And, you know, we have to look at the bigger picture. What's the bigger picture? Okay, I chose. I thought this was going to be great. It didn't quite turn out the way I wanted. It doesn't mean it's a failure. It's a loss. It means the journey had a detour for you to learn something in the experience as well. So then you have to shift to a perspective of, okay, this isn't quite what I had in mind. So what can I learn from this. Never to choose this again is what I hear a lot of you saying. I get that. Uh, But what what did you learn? Did you learn that you could go through something better than you thought? Maybe you didn't. Maybe you learned, ooh, that really triggers my temper or that really triggers my sensitivity or that really affects me or, you know, that type of energy around that is draining. You learn something. Everything the positive, the challenges, all of it, there's something that can make us better. The bigger picture is willing to be able to see that. The energy that we have right now coming in, in the positive side of this, is 
is helping us to see that. So if something's a bit bumpy for you right now, it doesn't stay that way forever, but we have to see the, we have to see it from the bigger picture. Okay? What within me can I do to be stronger and find the positive no matter what? And I'm not saying just think positive and mirror, you know, there's this magical, oh, tomorrow you wake up and your whole life is different. We actually have to apply ourselves. And then we are drawing that into ourselves. So it can be really incredible when we start to shift the perspective. Perspective is higher frequency here. This is what I'm talking about. This perspective is a different frequency from what you might be used to living in or around. So you have to give yourself um, a pat on the back because you're going, wow, okay, I didn't see it that way. Or I have to work on that. That's going to, I got to get used to that. Absolutely. But if you have that intention to do that, sky's the limit, guys. The sky's the limit. Absolutely. You can do this. Now, Michael was saying, call on me. I can help you with this. I can give you that insight to, okay, I can do this. But then he wants you to work with him, not just sit by and let it all happen like, woe is me and have a little, I can't do anything for myself. That's what this is about. This moon has a positive influence to kind of kick us in the rear and get us up and motivated and moving. So that's what we're talking about. When I come back, I have more angel insight. We have an email in the email bag, and I think I will bring that one on next. We are talking about angel insights for the Scorpio full moon effects that w- that just came in yesterday. I'm Dr. Jan. You're listening or watching our video live stream here on the Jan Royster Show. We will be right back after the break. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well-being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit SpiritFireRetreatCenter.com. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. Do you want to tap into your true potential, get creative, and learn to live with more joy? Join Vicki Todd, host of Unstuck Joy in Art Vision Journaling. Draw, doodle, collage, and write your way to intuitively creating your ultimate life vision with simple art prompts. No experience necessary. Vicki will show you how. All art supplies are included. Join Vicki every second Saturday monthly, 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific at Spa Air in Kirkland, Washington. To register, visit SpaAir.com. That's Spa, E-I-R.com. Curious about the meaning of life? Do you want to deepen your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. The school also organizes group meditations each year to benefit humanity. Whether you're just beginning to reflect on the spiritual side of your life or are a more experienced spiritual seeker, the school warmly welcomes you to join our group. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit esotericstudies.net. That's esotericstudies.net.
And we are back. We still have lawnmowers outside. So, guys, the uh, landscapers are here around the building, so you might hear a little roar out there. But that's okay. That's okay. It's really not my stomach. I did have breakfast. So, here we go. Now, we're going to go to the email bag. We're talking about the angel insights, if you're just tuning in, for the Scorpio moon effects that just came in yesterday. And it's really potent energy. It's an, it's an energy that will drive us to be, you know what, I got to make a change. I got to do this. However, we also got to take up for ourselves, and that's okay. But if you have trouble with conflict or uh, say you're taking up for yourself and it's not quite going the way you want, are you still allowing that to have the power? Okay, we're working on our personal power, but we've got to come out of victim mode to own our personal power. So I want to read this email. Now, this email is quite long, so I am going to abbreviate it a bit so I can get to the point. But this email, it comes from Dada. That's her name, D-A-D-A. And I think I'm saying it right. She comes from another part of the world, but I am not sure what part. So this came in over the night. And she's going through a challenge. She had put a lot of effort into looking for a non-smoking apartment building or, you know, a place to live and filled with chain smokers. How does that happen, right? Okay. No, this isn't funny. This, I mean, she is just stressing. It's affecting her respiratory. It's getting into her house, and it really affects her. I, I kind of appreciate that. I'm a little sensitive to it myself. Um, at the same time, how do we get past this? And they're not doing anything about it, and managers and everything. She's just really feeling, like, victimized, literally. Okay. Not sleeping. Totally. Ah. Now, I would love for everybody to that feels like they're going through something like this to hear me out and join me on this. And Dada, you too, if you're listening right now, you might be listening to the archive later. But we got to get out of victim mode, right? So how do we do that? we got to go inside. Remember the lady that was in the Nazi concentration camp? How the heck? We talk about feel victimized. How did she do that? How did she do that? How did she lift herself up to stay happy on the inside. Now, I will give you an interesting example to take it away from the smoke. Say it might be, a lot of times it's music or somebody that's loud. Uh, Believe it or not, you know how when we do that protective shield around us, and Michael can help you with that if you feel like you need to do that, and take that data all the way to the perimeter and the walls and the windows of, of where you live, but then inside, we have to know and believe not a victim anymore. The other thing is you might have some suggestions come through to you, and some that came through to me to share with you, if it's possible in your area to get something like this, an air purifier, sealing up the windows with some insulation. You know, like there's insulation that can go around, you know, where it can come through. This is something proactive so it's not coming into your space. Because if they are going to still choose to do what they do, we can't control what they're choosing. But we can control how it affects us. This would be a physical act of helping you feel like you're getting your power back in your space. Now, those are some proactive things to do so you can breathe and sleep at night. A noisemaker, anything with the, you know, something to just drown it out, really. So I was thinking air purifier. I use ozonator. We don't have any smokers here, but... But I use ozonators because I love ozonated air. It really opens up from my breathing. I love that. I'm kind of sensitive in my breathing, too. And it's uh, it's something that I'm suggesting. Now, I've seen this work when I've worked on my energy. Say, say you're upset. You know, I live in the city, so we have, you know, people walking dogs. And I mean, this is kind of a... This is an example, but this is how it works. Because my husband was getting very upset, you know, dog poo being left at the mailbox and all that kind of stuff. And I said, well, you're focusing on so much that what they're going to do or that what they might do next. If we keep focusing on what they're going to do, it seems to happen 10 times more than it was happening. Because now we're focusing on what we don't want. And it kind of brings more of it in with that law of attraction. So I'm reminding you there, and you're worn out, you need sleep. So do some things on the inside that can help you do that. And then we need to get the focus off. 
So you're going to walk in and out of your building. You're going to walk in and out to your car wherever you go. You're probably going to go past them. A deep breath, hold it till you get to the car, that kind of thing. And uh, But honestly, honestly, it's taking your power back. It's taking back. I'm not their victim. They're not going to ruin my happiness because eventually that lease will run out and you can start putting the focus and energy into somewhere else and and not beating yourself up because you chose this one. This one was, it really seemed like you needed to be in this one. And honestly, there's, what's the lesson here? To get put into a challenge like this, it's teaching you how to stay in here spiritually no matter what's going on around you. It's wearing the world like a cloak, but you're not part of it, so to speak, when we are working on our spirituality and, and it to not falter us on the inside. It's kind of an internal, a deeper lesson for you. Um, and I've been through this. I oh know I've been through it. And I did find that as soon as I just went, you know what? It is what it is. So I'm just going to shift approaching it, my perspective. I'm going to do something within here. I started doing that. And the problem would disappear. I had that happen three or four times now when I went through something. And I'm suggesting that you give that a try. But, but do something about cleaning the air inside your home. I know if you don't, I know plants will do that. Certain plants will do that. But uh, maybe a nice air purifier will help until you can get into a different place. But Michael is saying, wear it as cloak, shield up, shield up, shield up, and then do some physical stuff to shield it up. Absolutely. And keep... And keep, keep in your heart knowing that you can choose not to be a victim. So anybody going through challenges, guys, that's what it's like. Now, I'm going to keep moving on because Joe Feel comes in, and this is a good time to bring Joe Feel in. Joe Feel came in last week, too. Joe Feel's very positive, energized. I mean, no matter what, when you just feel like you cannot find something to be positive about, this angel will bring it to you, literally. This angel will bring you something to smile about. I suggest when we're going through the downs on that to do that because this moon's energy is very strong. It's very potent. It's driving with those other retrogrades that were in place. And it's a spiritual waking time. It's it's going to a higher consciousness, deeper, bigger picture. What is the bigger picture? In the example we were just working with, it would be the bigger picture is I'm not the victim unless I chose to be the victim. And just because that's going on outside of me, I don't have to let it affect the inside. Your home is you, and the inside of your home is like your it's, it's kind of a physical analogy to what exactly is happening with Dada there. So what's happening with you in your life? What, where do you feel like, wait a minute, I'm letting that get the best of me. I'm letting it. How can I not let that happen? How can I change that? How can I shift into a, a a place where I'm not letting it take my energy away? I'm not feeling victimized. That's the bigger picture here. And it's higher fifth dimension living. It's it's not even, I mean, there's fifth dimension, but there's six, seven, there's all these different dimensions. A whole lot better than the third with all the everything happening to me and everything that's wrong and all the suffering. You can choose to come out of that. You can actually choose to come out of that. And that's what's so powerful about this one. Because we're shifting in a big way, you're going to feel, I really want to bring this up, and I think I did earlier, but you're going to feel like you want to change something big right now. You're going to feel that. You're going to feel like, I know something. I need to make a major life choice. I'm not sure what it is. I just know I need to do it. It's okay to feel like that. Don't feel like you have to make that decision in five minutes. But that is something that is going to probably draw bigger in you. Depending on where you are and what you have or haven't, you know, changed, shifted. If there's a lot of things that need to shift for you while you're on your uh, awakening path, you'll be busy with it. And maybe you've been working on it for a while now and so it might not feel as big or bumpy because you've been doing it all along you don't want to get up to this like oh great i'm way behind the curveball if you feel like it's all happening to me at once but guess what everything that we go through we can overcome 
everything. We really can from inside because we are, uh, we are a spirit first, and then we are just in a physical experience right now. So you need to go there. Go to that deeper place because that part of you is the part where all your power is unlimited. Joe Fuel wants you to know there's always a light to the dark. There's always a positive to the negative. So if you're only feeling or seeing the one side of it, then open yourself up to going, okay, I'm a little short on the positives right now, so i got to go find some. I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to bring them in. And trust me, it will happen. It will. So, wow, we've got to take another break. That was quick. And then when we come back, I have one more angel, Raphael, because Raphael is really good for moving us forward in this one. And we are talking about angel insights. And the effects of this Scorpio full moon, which is very potent for transformative and really taking us to the next level and where we're going. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or watching our video live stream of the Jen Royster Show. And we will be right back after the break. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. And we are back for the last segment. Welcome to the show. If you're just tuning in, we'll have the archive available shortly. Now, we've been talking about angel insights for the Scorpio full moon energy effects and what that's doing and how we feel that. So this moon is very strong in transformation. It's to take you deeper 
which would mean higher in your consciousness and your awareness that way. You'll connect more that way. You will feel things from the bigger picture. You can see the bigger picture. But you want to choose to see the bigger picture. You can refuse and turn away from it, and that might feel kind of bumpy if you do that. So I wanted to bring that up. If you're, you know, and you're going to feel this in some way or another. If you are feeling it in a bit of a negative way, one of the best things you can do is ask Michael to help you find a way to stop draining your power out. Joe, if you can find that positive and eliminate something from your life that's negative, whatever it might be, is there something that you could just let go of? You might have a lot of things. Try to find at least one, okay? Get yourself on the train here and get going. What if you are feeling it from a very positive perspective, like everything's going your way? Then share that. Share that positive love and put that energy out for someone else and help them inspire them and let them know you've been there, you've done that, you you've you know what you I know I have and that's what I'm doing right now. I am trying to share that I know what it feels like to go into that depth. Boy have I done it. I cried so much, my eyes were swollen. That's how I was. But it was best after. It was so much better after. So it's can it's like, oh not this. But yes. We got to clean it up, you know. The energy is purging out of us. It comes to the surface. It's really happening to all of us. And so, you know, if you were positive out there, it may truly inspire us their way back on the track. So if you're feeling it that way, it's something you can do. If you're feeling overwhelmed by it, ask help, but also ask what I do for in a self way to around to turn that's when you really feel your empowerment come you're going to feel a lot of that from the angels and spirit the other thing with the moon was really coming where you would feel that you don't want to feel that you are alone we have angels and support in the realm all around it, it if you're not in, um, rem, you know, you might when you feel challenging because then you're little, but then you it's where you can it and where you can share it, send it out as a vibration. The world is changing, things are changing. This is the energetic perspective. This is an, this is coming with the astrology as well. But I was giving you the insights the angels gave me because I could really see and feel that a lot of people that are reaching out to me for help are are asking, I, if nothing's working, it won't, it's, don't, you know, they'll feel like that. They'll feel a spiritual frustration. Guys, I want you to know it has not turned its back on you. There's things to heal and move through. Ask, what is it that I'm not seeing that I need to understand? And the lesson will reveal some kind of clue or hint to you. And then we have to go there and do the work. We have to do it. Nobody can do that work for you. So like I said, there's people that get upset and they don't want, you know, they want everything done for them. I find that they're going to, I think it's going to be more challenging for them if they have that perspective. If you have a, I'm here to help and I'm here to, get dirty and do this too. I, I'm going to get in there and, and I'm going to start working this out. And I need to acknowledge that this is my life, my self-love, my feelings of, of what I'm, I got going on. I'm going to be proactive. And you have that intention. You might really be surprised how powerful the response will be from the spiritual and angelic realm to support you. Because when you say, okay, I'm in this game, to ha- I'm here. I'm here to win. I'm here to go. I'm here to make my life better. I'm here to turn around some negatives into positives. I'm here to to grow and ascend. I want to be that better person. I want love coming and radiating from me. If you're choosing that, you will be supported. Now, if you are in a tough time, don't you ask for help. I mean, that's what I'm doing here. I'm giving the help out on the radio show. I mean, this is what this is. This is my labor of love to give to you. 
And if you saw how much we have to do to actually put this out there, you understand that labor. But it's in my heart. I went through some tough times before. I have been down in those trenches, and I wondered how if, if I was ever going to get out. And it was angels that showed me, okay, we're going to get out, but we're going to do it this way, and you're going to do this. And when I started really going that approach, everything turned around completely. And now that's what I'm sharing with you. It's time to get proactive in this. We can do this. Absolutely. I want to tell you guys, um, thank you so much for listening. And we, we're constantly receiving um, and we are, you know, getting new listeners all the time. And I want to welcome everyone that's new to the show here. Uh, we always put everything out once a week in a newsletter on Wednesdays of upcoming shows events, anything like that. If you want to be a part of that, you can check that out at my website, jenroyster.com. Please feel free to grab a free class and enjoy a class. I have one on energy self-care, which is a really good one right now if you're feeling a little worn out. And then I have one on meditation. I have some guided meditations in that. But working on some other classes, and one in particular that I'm working on right now is working with the angelic realm today in this new energy i'm working on that it's it's getting there um i just want you to know i'm still working on that because i'm really trying to put something great together for you uh it's been a lot of depth to it and i want i want to bring you what we need now that's my passion i want to bring you what we need now not what we needed 20 years ago because it's changing a bit it's so different now And I'm learning every day, and then I'm sharing it with you. So I do want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of the video live streaming. Thank you guys over there at the live video stream. And and please share the show with others if you feel that it would help them or inspire them. I've received some amazing um, things that touched my heart from listeners that have shared with uh, people they know, and they said it helped them. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. this is my labor of love so go spread go spread it out there go sp- thank you guys so much next time here on the Easter show namas You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.